Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Adrian from Inside Byte. Following the previous tutorial where we had an introduction into expression language, we're gonna give continuation to that and explore all the functions and available um, functionalities that expression language enables us. So if you haven't done so, make sure you go to this repo. I'll put the link in the description and clone it locally. And here, what you'll do, you will go to this folder called expression language. And here we have a detailed page about um, all the tutorial that we've done so far. Now, we're going to touch on um, how to use NiFi expression language for data conversion. So what you want to do, you want to go to this particular link, download the use template for this uh, particular um, uh, video tutorial. I already had it uh, downloaded and uploaded back into my NiFi machine. I'm not going to go through this. So basically, if you haven't done so, um, make sure you do it. If you don't know how to, I'll put a link in the description with a how-to video guide, how to work, export and import NiFi templates. Right. So what we're going to do, once you have it uploaded, we're going to go here in templates and we're going to drag it on the canvas and we're going to select the data type conversion. Cool. Okay, so the way you get into a... Uh, process group is by double clicking or click right enter group so here let's explain what we're doing first we are creating a, a new flow file after that we create some some attributes so basically for us to demonstrate the conversion functionality in, in um, expression language we need some attributes that carry some value so we have an attribute called uh, decimal or dec that carries this value and an integer uh, called int uh, carries this value and we have a string that carries this value cool so if we're going to run this one and let's start the create attribute we can see that um we have the following attribute created for us so we got the int the decimal and the string let's jump into the uh, expression language function so this is another update attribute processor but here, what we do, we have some parent, we have some properties set. So basically, I'm gonna set these attributes with the outcome of this expression language. So we're gonna take the string and change it to decimal. You see the name? I'm saying I'm calling it as bad because this will give us a bad outcome, meaning like it will not fail, but it will not succeed as well. It will, it will return us a null or an empty value. Here, bad two number. We're trying to convert string to a number again bad here to decimal we're trying to convert an integer to decimal to number uh, we're trying to convert a decimal to a number and to string we're trying to convert an int to string so if i were to go over this functional to decimal pretty much converts a subject or an incoming data into a decimal it accepts, a, 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 it doesn't receive any arguments and it returns a data type of type decimal. Uh, two number, uh, pre similar to the previous one, it just returns a, a value of type number or integer. To string, it receives a value that he will try to translate or converge to a string. So let's see what's the outcome of this. Basically what we do here, and this is going to be the setup for, for all the um, expression language tutorial we're going to do next. We have an update attribute that we run all the um, expression language functions. And then what we do, we take those attributes and we create a single JSON bundle. Um, basically, we will create a list of attributes that we pass to NiFi. This is a bit advanced, but you know you don't really have to understand it. Basically, I'm taking all of those attributes that we passed to them and I'm telling him, okay, use this list of attributes to create a JSON file or a JSON body and put it in my flow content. And once we run this one, you can see that instead of actually looking at the attributes in the attributes values, we are going to look at the content. So the way you see the content one would be you either click on this I or you click on the information and you. So let's evaluate the outcome of this. 
but we have an input that's decimal 10.30, 10 the string is this, the integer input is this. Now, if we want to transform to decimal string, it gives us an empty, let me just, it, it gives us an empty string. So it's not going to be able to do the conversion. Now, if we're trying to transform or convert a string to a number, again, it's not going to work. If we would try to convert an integer into a string, we see we have a successful outcome, which is the number 10. If we want to take an integer and transform it into a decimal, this is the outcome. Um, and it, it worked properly. If we would to, to take a decimal and change it to number, this is what we get. And an integer, obviously, this is the M. Okay, so just to recap what we did in this tutorial, we went over the data type um, expression language function available in NiFi, and we created some attributes, and then we wa we walked them through the expression language def uh, function, and we evaluated the outcome. Let's clean up the queue. So if you want to reuse this template, feel free to go ahead and clone this repo, and there are multiple other templates. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna touch on subjectless function. So make sure you tune in. Until next time, I see you.